My name is Lady London. I'm from East Orange, New Jersey, and this is on the come up. By mistake. That, that was my biggest, uh, I guess you could say, thing that I stumbled on haphazardly in my career. Uh, I was going to school. I had a 10 year plan for medicine, um, foolproof. And I started rapping in March of 2018. My first video went viral. Um, 8.7 million views of me rapping in a car and it's been up since. So um, you just can't run from destiny, I think. Some of my musical inspirations would have to be obviously Jay-Z. Um, I, I, as Cole said, I copied your cadence, I mimicked your style. Um, very inspired by him, especially in his early days. Big L, Jadakiss, The Lock, Slick Rick, and storytelling. I think social media was kind of the, the first thing to make me think this is real. Um, I was accumulating over 20,000 followers a month at one point with Lady Lundays. Um, consistently for about like nine to 10 months at a time. And I think I grew my followers from 9,500 to where it is now at 900,000, almost a million on my own. Uh, so I think having the cosigns from those that I used to admire growing up, having Nas say, I think she's one of the greatest, having Busta Rhymes and, you know, having just some of the most pioneers of hip hop stand at the forefront of your career was just further validation for myself. Ah, oh, wow. If a, if a fan were to discover me today or a person discover me today, I would want them to start at the beginning for me. And I think my song never probably outlines my entire journey throughout the game and, and how much I'd endured throughout my time in hip hop. So I would say to start there and then branch out because you'd have to understand the core of me before even exploring my other music, my other artistry. Um, so definitely never, for sure. Okay. Apple Music or streaming platforms. I have a beautiful video that I created, directed myself as well, so. I learned to give myself more grace. Um, I think oftentimes we, as artists, I think the scariest place in the world is the artist's mind um, because we're often just trapped in it and we can't even see around us and how many people we impact. So I think just giving ourselves a little bit of grace um, as we move forward in our careers, what, whatever that career may be. Um, I try to meditate in my successes as much as I analyze my failures. Um, and I guess that'll be the key point I would take away from it. My current single that's out currently is called What Is It Giving? Um, super dope, so dope. Um, I recorded it April of 2021. So the original supposed to come out last summer. Um, but it's a lot of politics went around it, but um, I wanted that that call and repeat record. You know what I mean? I'm known for my lyricism. I'm known for my complex bars and things like that. But I really wanted something for people to chant and, and, and really like agree with and then get really disrespectful as I usually do in the bars portion of it. So I speak about things that, you know, everybody is doing like every, you know, we just don't want to people don't want to say, but it's being done. So um. I'm very, I'm very proud of my single that's out and I hope the girls stream it. And it's, it's a girl's record. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's a girl's record, so. It's the reason I do music, you know. Um, I'm originally from the Bronx, New York, and I was raised in East Orange, New Jersey. And anybody who's been in or raised around the tri-state area understands the impact of what growing up on High 97 and growing up on 105.1 and growing up with the big and the Jay-Z era of when New York metropolitan area was on top of hip hop as we know it. You know, we, at one point we made, we made a precedent in the game before Southern rappers were able to force their way into things not, you know, like, and I'm so happy that they're here now because it gives us a different trajectory on things. But at one point we were the blueprint for things. And so just kind to having that underline, bringing it back, bringing back the sound, of what I'm familiar with is so pivotal to my career. Um, you know, they often say, this is what New York sounds like, this is what Jersey sounds like, you know, whatever. And I'm, I'm just really happy to 
be in that space. So I love, I love my hometown and I just, you know, uh, we got the best food too, so. You know, I said what I said. I remember um, a time when songs would bring you back to that summer. Like, I remember when you would listen to a song and be like, oh my God, I remember that summer, like, that summer was crazy. You know, a, a particular song, it's weird that it comes to mind because it's so random, but Remy, Remy Ma has a uh, Feel So Good featuring Neo, reminds me of Summer 07. Like, I can see myself, like, at the skating rink or hanging out with my cousins that summer and just listening to that song on repeat. Um, yeah, I mean, just nostalgia, you know what I mean? Like like childhood nostalgia where something can govern an entire summer or an entire season was so fun. Infinity and beyond. I hope to transcend a generation. I hope to leave an indelible mark on the hearts of everybody I touch, whether that's music or personal. Um, I just wanna leave an imprint. I wanna be a legend in my own right. Um, yeah, the highest form, wherever, wherever it can go the highest, that's where I'm gonna go, take off. Ah, uh, that song, I'll, if I can create my dream song, um, one of my favorite, well, my favorite artists of all time, of any genre is Whitney Houston. Um, she's from my hometown, she's from East Orange, you know what I mean? So, I actually like grew up right behind my grandmother's house, it's weird um, how close it is, it's just legends bred in that area, I guess. Um, but Whitney Houston, Jasmine Sullivan, and Drake were probably my three dream collabs of all time, right? Obviously in Jay-Z, but we can't all fit on one song. So <laughs> so yeah, uh, sonically, it would be just beautiful harmonies pan throughout the speakers and something profound, a subject matter that's profound in one space. So that would be my dream collab is Jay-Z, Jasmine Sullivan, Whitney Houston vocals, and Drake. Seriously? So I think they all sing very differently, number one. Um, but Whitney's a legend, you got like, Whitney's a legend. Whitney's a legend. I, I don't know, I would pick them for different reasons. That's not apples and oranges, it's more like spaghetti and hydrogen. I know everybody would expect me to say something super traditional, super regular. But I'm gonna say something that people is not gonna think is important. The people you keep around you at the time you're coming up is the most crucial thing you can ever have. It's people that support you before the world tells them that it's okay to support you. People that are in your corner and believe in you more than you believe in yourself at times because I can't tell you how that shapes your career. And just be mindful of those who you feel the need to be around because they've been around. Some things are, are expiration dates, you know what I mean? And sometimes God won't give you a blessing until you get them away from where you're at. Um, and I leave by saying, um, and I say this because I know a lot of people have their family around, they think their family is their family. Um, when we hear blood is thickening in water, it's not what we think it is. The full phrase is the, the blood of, the what is it the the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb so it's really the blood of whatever bond you make the bond you make within your friends the bond you make within god is thicker than the water of the womb in which whatever you came into this world as so it's actually the complete opposite of what we know it to be it's whoever is around you as your friend that are really there that's really your family and that's really who should stick around you. So just be careful and be mindful of who you surround yourself with because the wall and the, the door of destiny is a very narrow one. And so I just would say, I would leave people with that advice as creatives coming up into the game is to be mindful of your surroundings because they can become you. What's up y'all, this is Lady London and shout out Hot New Hip Hop. Shout out Collective Gallery. We are on the come up.